Coco. Good girl. Good girl, Coco. Good girl. Good girl. It's a good push. Good girl. I know. I know. Good girl. Maybe I'll push. You can dig some more. <laughs> Let's get it out. It's a good girl. Good girl, Coco. You can do it. Good girl. Mm, it's a good girl. Good girl. Yeah. That's his first stage of labor. Panting and lots of panting and just started pushing recently. We haven't had a puppy yet, but she hasn't eaten since last night. She's done her potty one and potty two and <laughs> totally emptied. Mm -hmm. Nothing more to come out. What was her temperature again? 98.0 this morning mm -hmm. and that's when it gets that low you know it's 12 to 24 hours so it's three o'clock now mm -hmm. and she just started pushing about 45 minutes ago probably 30 minutes ago mm -hmm. okay so we're pushing but mm -hmm. this is uh the baby's not down here yet this is see how she's pushing but this, this whole area will get wider and very hard when the head or the sack gets down there. It could, the, head, the baby's in a sack like a sausage. It'll either be feet first or head first, and it doesn't really matter because it's all in one tube. Mm -hmm. But we're not quite there yet, so she's pushing and working to get it engaged in the, down in the birth canal. Yeah. Good job, Coco. Watch your tummy. Good job. And she has a go. contraction. You mm -hmm. can see it. There you go. I usually sit by her and feel. Mm -hmm. Once she starts uh, pushing, she's actually a fast deliverer. Um, once that first baby comes out, there, she's pretty quick. Mm -hmm. so. There you go. That's a good push. Yeah. Good job. She's, so now we wait. She's uncomfortable, <laughs> so she'll get up and she'll move around and, and dig. dig and try to make another spot and... I'm always trying to stick the towel back under her because once once the baby gets really close, the sometimes the sack comes out mm -hmm. and it squirts. It's a little messy. This is our setup. We have the Easy Whelp box. We love this box. Now it's this really is an great. older one. They've come mm -hmm. out with some newer ones. And these pads. Do the pads come from Easy Whelp too? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have our. Um, they Velcro down this, into the box. This is the hemostat that clamps closed. We clamp the cord with that. And mm -hmm. then these are surgical scissors that we can cut the cord after we've clamped it. And we also have our suction ready, baby <laughs> suction. This is from my, <laughs> from Sunny. When she was born in the hospital, <laughs> brought it home. That's me. <laughs> um, but we suction the baby's nose and mouth with this. So that's Sunny's job. My job is to cut the cord. Mm -hmm. The baby comes out first attached to a cord that's attached to a placenta. So the baby comes out, sometimes the, the cord and placenta come out all at the same time, but sometimes they're up in the mom still, and then she has to push the placenta out. Okay. So you just, you just want to keep a hold of the cord that's attached to the placenta so that it doesn't stay up inside her. Because mm -hmm. I can make him sick if it stays inside. But Good if you job, lose Coco. if you lose the cord, or you, you, if uh, sometimes you can grab grab it with a dry washcloth and pull it out with more contractions, you can pull that cord out the placenta. So if all else fails, go to the vet and tell him you have a retained placenta, and he'll give her oxytocin and help her to push it out. Mm -hmm. She may need an antibiotic if she's retained a placenta just to prevent infection, but. That's, that's unusual. It's not, not real common. Mm -hmm. Good girl. Alright. Good job, Coco. Good job. Good girl. <laughs> this has been soft, but now with each contraction, now you can feel a knot right here that's 
the pu actual puppy. So mm -hmm. it's getting down into the Puppy's canal. Just chilling. Mm -hmm. Sort of. <laughs> you good girl. It's resting. She's trembling just a little bit. It's a good girl. Yeah, I know. We got the heating pads here too. Mm -hmm. Didn't mention that before. I have, um, I have it under in a pillowcase under yeah, a pad here. Show that again, Mr. Here's a heating pad and a pillowcase, two mm -hmm. side by side. You can just do one in the center of the box so that there's cool on both sides, or move the heating pad just to one side where it's yeah, cool. But we have two of them right here, yeah. um, just so that we can put newborn puppies under the towel up against the heating pad while we're, while she's pushing out another one. Mm -hmm. As soon as they're born, um, we'll put them on her to nurse and that will um, help with the next contractions. As the puppies are nursing, it causes more contractions. Mm -hmm. uh, where did you, didn't you get those heating pads at like CVS or something? Actually Walgreens. Okay, Walgreens. They have the uh, stay on button. Sunbeam. Let me zoom in on that. Yeah, they, they automatically cut off in two hours unless you hit this yeah. auto off and see how right here that's two hours it'll go off, but you so hit then auto the off. So the stay on light comes on. Yeah, and they stay on unless your electricity goes off. If yeah. You gotta check them and turn it back on. Yeah, we've had issues with that. Good girl. So Coco knows that she knows us and she trusts us. She actually looks to us to be her doula. <laughs> yeah. And get good girl, Coco. Yes. She usually whines a lot too, and she mm -hmm. actually has a puppy, yeah, so she may be loud. <laughs> yeah, we always know when that head pushes out because she'll squeal really loud. Mm -hmm. But each she's one, fine. Each one is different. I've had some that don't make a noise. Mm -hmm. Coco's I, just loud. <laughs> had others that whine all. They turn around and growl at their contraction. Yeah. Growl at the bottom. <laughs> Just like people, everybody's different. You're a good girl. I know. Get closer. Sometimes they like to stand up like she's doing or sit. Use gravity. Good job. Tummy gets really hard. <laughs> I know. She's probably going to have a little yelp. Good girl. I know it. I know it. It's a good girl. I know. It's a good girl. Yep. Twirling around. This is where it's going to come out, but this is where it gets um, round. See, that is a puppy. So it's, get it's working its way down, but this will open up. The Volvo will open up. So, you're doing good, Coco. I know. Just have to keep pushing. Okay, one little whimper, which means it's real close. Mm -hmm. Let's go this way. Here you go. Good job. Coco's real patient with us moving her around, but normally, you know, you just kind of want to let them. Yeah. She's just let them relax as much as possible. This. Good job. Yeah, this is her very last litter, so. Good job. I had to switch to a phone because the camera card got okay. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay there though. we go. Good girl. So the puppy um, and the placenta all came out one time. My little hemostats here. So I'm gonna clip. I'm gonna clip this cord here about a three quarters of an inch, so that. And I'll probably go ahead. Trying to keep her from pulling it. Yeah. Cut that. Section. Mm -hmm. face, but looks like a healthy puppy. Mm -hmm. No chocolate. Good girl, Coco. She just now I'm going to unclamp because it's been about 30 seconds or so. And there we go. Good job, Coco. Okay. Rag. Need a little washcloth. The towel's really handy. While she's cleaning herself a little bit, I'm gonna rub. The little boy. Aww. Hey, Bill. What do you think? Okay. Hey. What are you doing back 
here. Come here. Get on the little nipple. Yeah. We actually, sometimes yeah. you have to get them started. Coco's mm -hmm. trying to lick him. You can but, squeeze the uh, nipple a little bit, uh -huh. get some milk out so they can smell it and find it. Uh -huh. And they get going strong and they can find it by themselves. He's, he's thinking about it. Some of them are really good nurseries. They get mm -hmm. right on on there and then the others. Hey, Coco. That helps Mama out. also to be able to push more puppies out if they're nursing. So. Mm -hmm. yeah, the newborn's go. nursing releases oxytocin, which brings on more contractions. So we had an x-ray on day 55, about eight days before due date. And... It uh, told us we could see the spines in the skull, so we know how many to expect. Mm -hmm. And we also can tell if the heads are small enough to have a vaginal delivery. Come on. But we might not be expecting to have a C-section. Let's try this one. Oh, that's a good one. There we go. Okay, we got baby number two. Uh -huh. Trying to... Uh, oh, here we go. There's the whole placenta now. Good. I mean the, mm -hmm, the cord. Clamping the cord. Mm -hmm. Trying to do that Not before that. she cuts and it. And then pulling the baby's yeah, tummy so give it a hernia. Mm -hmm. Broke the sack, so that's good. Good girl, Coco. She's eating the placenta right now. That's what mm -hmm. she's doing. Kind of a weird angle. But. And we're going to cut on the, the placenta side of the... Don't get your tongue in the way. There we go. Good girl. We'll leave that clamp for a few seconds. Let's see the blood. Mm -hmm. Clots. Meantime, we'll suction. The fun part is seeing whether it's a girl or a boy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, Sunny usually does my suction in here. Squeeze it and put it in and it sucks out. Squeeze it, put it in, let go and sucks out. to push it close up against <clears throat> their nose right there and it sometimes yeah, they I whine can, if you do that but it's it's good it can release this now then I'll get another rag have your rags handy yeah mm -hmm. it's good that you're here crying uh -huh. they're breathing mama, good and mama look look its face let's see it's a girl boy it's a girl oh yay so one girl one boy so far mm -hmm. Do you want to do the thing where you shake them so you can show them? Yeah, I hold them in my, uh, where the head and everything is in my finger, whole finger, mm -hmm. and then just go like that, where the head's down, mm -hmm. but you're supporting the uh, head and neck and everything. And that just helps the fluid to mm -hmm. flow then down. Suction so that they, some you more. Can get the fluid Holding them around. upside down. Suction some more. Make sure they're real supported, their neck and head mm -hmm. and everything, so they don't get flung around. It does help. Hello. <laughs> cute little baby. Mm -hmm. And then you can kind of stimulate the blood flow by Just rub the fur. Rubbing them. Didn't try. Mm -hmm. Hey, Coco. Good job, Coco. Put the other baby underneath here. This one is a red liver. And the heating pad. Uh-huh. <laughs> you say hi to you, baby? Mm. She's bigger than his. Yeah. We'll weigh him after we get settled. Yeah. See the color under the tail, Sunny? Mm -hmm. This is a red liver. Mm-hmm. The color under the arms. That color under the tail shows And it's two-toned on the cheek. What they're That's the sable. They usually look like once they uh, grow mm -hmm. up. Usually way darker than they are as adults. You can also take their bodies like this and, and bend it in half. I mean, not in half, but, you know, kind of curl, curl it up gently like that. It helps to get the fluid out. Probably hold them upside down. But just kind of wind them up like that. It squeezes the fluid out of their lungs if there is any. Mm -hmm. 
let's get her um a little messy. Let's get her on see if we can get these nursing on. Look in this one. Yeah. Alrighty. Okay. Come on, Coco. Alright. Okay, so Auntie Sunny's getting girl. them the new babies on to She's hungry. Nurse. She's trying to nurse on my Squeezed finger. a little bit, got a little milk out so go. they can smell it. So if we can get her going on it, then maybe little brother will There we go, we got learn from her. And I'll right. give you a little rag if you want to prop her up. Mm-hmm. Stay, Coco. No, Coco, Coco. Coco. Oh, yeah, you can lick her, but not the cord. I just want to keep her on the milk for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Coco is a very a big licker. Yeah. Some of the, uh, and, the, the, and that's good. Mm -hmm. um, it's good to have a good licker because she's very attentive to her babies. Mm -hmm. But sometimes we have to keep her from licking just so they can start nursing. The nursing stimulates the oxytocin release, mm -hmm. which helps for the next contraction because hey, we've got one more baby in here. Girl, good girl. There we go. Good it's job. We have a heating pad under the towels, you got it. and then they're warm up against their mommy. The main thing is when you have newborns is to keep them warm, so you don't want a drafty cold room either. Yeah, this one's trying to get on. Mm -hmm. It's a good girl, Coco. You have a beautiful boy and girl. That's the boy. He hasn't figured out the nursing yet, but he's mm -hmm. trying. Hard he's looking nails. for it. Yeah. What happens? Messy when you're giving birth. Cutting cords. Come on, baby. Oh, look, he's doing it. There we Good go. Good job. Good job, baby boy. Go, 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 go. Get your mama from licking you for just five seconds. Maybe you can get some. Got it. Yeah, he's got it. Now, Coco. Coco. Here. There you go. Just when we got him on. She's good about licking him, but she sometimes knocks him off too. If she licks him too much, she won't, won't let him nurse. So, so we just great. encourage we her to relax. Because I'm going. Okay. I've got the chocolate boy on the left. He's nursing, and the little liver girl on the right. Coco's trying to look at him. She's a sable. She's got two tone. Yeah. Red and chocolate, but she's on there nursing now. She's kind of little. I don't want her to get cold, so I've got her body right next to her tummy is up yeah. next to Coco. And Coco's still panting. She's got one more puppy to go. Um, as they nurse, mm -hmm. it releases oxytocin, which can um, cause more contractions to come on and start, yeah. so that's good. That's why we try to get them on as fast as possible, even though they can really do it themselves. They're, they're fine. They're not dying like from milk. When C-section, they don't nurse right away, so it's yeah. really okay, but it's always best. you got to keep them warm on a, mm -hmm. on a heating pad if they're not next to their mommy's body, and I do have a heating pad under the towel. Yeah. So... Um, and it helps it go faster with a contraction, so we just like to go ahead and do that. But sometimes there's a good break of an hour, or sometimes even more, between mm -hmm. one puppy and the next. So, yeah, um, Coco's super fast. We know there's another puppy mm -hmm. in here because we had an x-ray done and counted the skulls and the spine. So um, now we've got one more. And she's trying to get comfortable. She's also trying to um, lick on the cord that mm -hmm. was cut and... She's really trying to pull and chew it. And we don't want it's, her to chew and pull because that can cause an umbilical yeah. hernia. So it's good for her to lick the babies, but just not mm -hmm. the cord more. Yeah. And Coco so kind of licking their bottom is one thing, but we we know our baby Coco. Yeah, she's an obsessive licker, which is. Why don't great. you show them the cord real quick so they can see yeah, what you're talking she's, about? She's a good mama, and she licks her babies and keeps them clean. But yeah. what she's doing is trying to and see she can lick their bottom. That's great. Yeah, that's good. But, but then when she goes to the cord, <laughs> what you have to do is flip, flip the baby over her. and then so it's not available. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or move her head over to the other part of the body. Yeah. Okay. Good girl, Coco. She's panting now in between puppies and just started pushing again a little, a little bit ago. I'm working on puppy number three. Mm -hmm. This is the color of the placenta. Um, when the puppy comes out, mm -hmm. you'll see this greenish black. And if you see any color like this before you have a puppy, that's when you need to go to your vet or the emergency room because yeah. you shouldn't see this color before you have a puppy. But once you've had one puppy come out, then that's very normal. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll turn it back on when she starts pushing again. She's taking another break real quick. 
Okay. Then you can move them if, if she has if she's actively pushing. Yeah, now she's pushing one. again, so she got a comfortable move. Then we can move. move these babies over to our little warm spot over here. Mm -hmm. You just it. tuck them under a layer mm -hmm. of towel on the heating pad mm -hmm. so they're right so up next to it. Get them more and more. She has another one here. You can do it, Coco. Mm. Good girl. Where'd she go? She's pushing. She, yeah. I don't know how long it'll be. It may be really fast because she, mm -hmm. she doesn't usually leave her babies. Yeah, okay. She heard her babies. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good girl. She's focused on this next one. Otherwise, she'd be over there. Yeah. She's a doting mother. <laughs> She's watching them. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. To cover them up. Cover them up so they stay warm. Okay. She's digging around again. Boy and the girl are snuggled up. Her another little towel to... Yeah. <laughs> Some dirty towels over there. Mm -hmm. The little girl's just chugging away. <laughs> We had him over there in the heating pad, but we decided to get him on, back on for a little bit to help her uh, push that third baby out because she just was taking a while. So it doesn't ever hurt to have a nurse on there. Mm -hmm. So what they're getting is colostrum. That's the first thing that comes out when you have the newborn puppies. It's very important for their immune mm -hmm. system. They get their mommy's immunities from the colostrum in the first 24 hours. So that's really important. And then the milk comes in in the next day or two. But your main job in the first 24 to 48 hours is making sure those puppies are nursing. And they pretty much nurse all day long. Sometimes they'll fall asleep a little bit. Check it in. <laughs> Good job, Coco. Good job. We may have already shown it, but this, this one probably going to be that color under the tail once it grows up. Now that's that uh, red liver sable. Mm -hmm. And this one looks like dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. You ready to push again, Coco? So she's getting up on her um, front legs, mm -hmm. kind of getting a little leverage there. Mm -hmm. Babies are still nursing, so that's mm -hmm. good. There's a contraction. So now she's going to turn around. The closer that baby gets to coming out, the more uncomfortable she gets. So we'll, yeah. we can put the babies back on the heating pad. It's coming. Oh, let's put the babies over there. You can do it, Coco. You can do it. What does it look like back there, sir? Not there yet, but it's oh. close. It'll be a little bubble when it comes. Like the other one. Good job. The tummy's hard. Mm -hmm. She's actively pushing. Mm -hmm. You can do it, Coco. It's the last okay. one. Okay. Almost there. No, you can do it. It's a good girl. Got this. Yeah, there's a good contraction. Good job. Yeah, good job. I can feel when I have my hand on her tummy. Mm hmm. I can feel when she has a contraction. She actually likes likes us. Mm hmm. <laughs> Some of them are grumpy and they don't like you to mess with them. I know, I know. Is it, coming? Real good. Is it coming? Do you get it sending it back here? If you turn her a little this way, that'd be good, but. Pretty close. Yeah. Well, I get my chicken do. It's getting close. I know, I know. Shh. It's okay, puppies. Quiet. Good girl, Coco. You can do it. Gable. Shh. Good girl. He's a good girl. I know. Just rest in a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> She's laying yeah. on your arm. <laughs> Is that a good pillow? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, she'd have them on my lap if she had <laughs> druthers. She likes to be on my lap. Yeah. Yeah, don't She's know. tried that before. <laughs> Good girl, Coco. Yeah, every time I sit down, whoop, there comes Coco. Mm hmm Jumping up on my lap. Okay, I'm going to change the battery in the camera real quick. Okay. Good it's job. okay, Coco. There it comes. There we go. Good job. She wants like that, but she's okay. There we go. Good job. You can do it. And then push. Good job. There we go. There we go. The came out and everything. Okay. So we'll get, right, break Coco. the sack open. Good girl. And the placenta's around the head up here, so i got to get that mm -hmm. off. Here, Coco. Hold on a second. Hold on. There we go. Hold on. I'm gonna get the head Hold on. I'm gonna clamp it quick so she okay, got that clamped. Good. And then start sectioning the face. Wait, you probably need to cut it before she. No, it's torn. She okay, good. Pulled. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sometimes she does tear it by herself, which is okay. But... Good. You let her lick it. Good job. Good job, Coco. She lick the face. Her face. Yeah. Good job. Good it's girl. Good girl. Good girl, Coco. Good job. Just In the wild, one. you don't have a suction, but you can see bubbles coming out the nose here. Mm -hmm. Just helps. It's just mm -hmm. faster. Make sure nothing goes wrong. I can it's breathe a nice easy. size puppy too. Mm -hmm. Dark chocolate. Can you see boy or girl? Not yet. Oh, girl. It's a girl. Yay. Okay, so I'm gonna. Let mommy lick. I'm gonna go ahead and unclamp now. Mm -hmm. Just wait a few minutes on that. Yeah, but a few, I mean, 30 seconds I think is okay. probably enough. But. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, it's your baby. A beautiful baby girl. We have people on our waiting list that'll be excited to know that we had a chocolate girl. <laughs> Good girl, Coco. Good you like the face? So her licking stimulates the blood flow and mm -hmm. gets everything woken up. I hear you. I hear you. Mm -hmm. Good job. If you kind of uh, do the tail to the head a little bit, kind of bend them in half like that a little bit, it kind of gets any... Uh, anything out of the lungs that might be there. Mm -hmm. You can suction more in between. Dirty mm -hmm. fingernails just come with the territory. I do. Sorry about that. And I don't wear gloves because I don't need to. And just wash your hands thoroughly out. after. <laughs> I've washed my hands. I'm uh, very clean. Yeah. Got to be able to get a grip on. Sometimes you have to pull the pet puppies mm -hmm. um, with the contraction if possible, or you may have to grab a placenta that's up in there. And we've had to do that. We use a terry cloth, a washcloth, and get a hold of that placenta cord and mm -hmm. just very pull very slowly. If you with have a it, if you have a contraction, that's great. And if not, then just very slowly. Usually it comes out if you got a good grip on it with the rag. Mm -hmm. Did have to do that before. It's a beautiful dark chocolate, no white. This she little cord, a little, little cord will dry her ears off. look a little bit lighter. Is she sable at all? No, I think uh, I think that's dark chocolate. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. It's a cute little face. When they dry, they'll always look a little lighter than they do. Mm -hmm. We can tell when they're dark chocolate. We've just seen so many of them. This is. Definitely a darker one. Yeah, good. Coco's just cleaning herself up back there. That's mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. It's her last baby, so she's all done. Yeah, so this is here. You've got blood and placenta, and mm -hmm. it's messy. So you just wash your towels and um, put fresh towels down. There we go. <laughs> Sweet baby. Chocolate should too. Okay. Baby girl. Next, we'll try to get her on nursing. There after you go. Coco licks her a little bit. Good job, Mama. So Sunny's working on getting this last little baby 
on to nurse. I think she can get him down. You were saying if they are a little slow in nursing, sometimes it well, maybe you need just, to. If they, see how she's doing with her mouth like that? She's not suctioning yet. She's just kind of mouthing it. Mm -hmm. and if they do that a lot, sometimes it's, they're just trying to find it. But if they do that a lot and they really won't get on there, sometimes it's because they can't breathe very well out of their nose yet because there's still gunk in their nose. So you just can suction a little more. Um, I'm going to try that again. I just did a minute ago, but... Oh, that was a good one. You go, you can lick it too. That's good. There's more coming out. It's okay if they cry a little bit. I just don't like it. They'll be fine. They'll live. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I'm sorry. Okay. I think that's good. Probably can nurse okay. now. Okay. Here's your time to shine. Sunny, Go ahead. <laughs> Sunny is getting these babies back on now. We've got three little chocolate shih tzu. Coco did a good job. That's the red liver sable. You can see how she's a lot redder. Two little chocolates and one red liver sable. Two girls and a boy. A lot of work getting those babies on there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it. Okay. Okay, first you put your tray on there and then you turn it on so that it will zero out. This is just a food scale, right? And so we weigh the babies. Yeah, it's a food scale. But we weigh those babies when they're born. It's on ounces. And this is the first boy. It's on fluid ounces, yeah. yeah. This is 3.8. I knew he was little. 3.8 ounces. <laughs> I'll put him back on mommy. We nor and normally do this while we're uh, right delivering. 3.8 but... ounces. That's his birth weight. Tomorrow we'll yeah. write down on day one and then the next day, day two, and I'll write the date out here. Today is yeah. Wednesday, July 3rd. Normally we weigh them while, you know, during the delivery and all that, next, but next one we decided to do it. Girl. Afterwards, this time for the video. She's 4.8 ounces. Put her back over there. I'll write down 4.8 ounces. I keep everything in ounces until they get past 16 ounces, and then I do ounce and pound both. I, I take their weight every day for the first two weeks. Little description. This is the little two. girl, so I put her in there. She's 4.8 also. Third one born, so got 4.8. And I have their description here. This is a chocolate boy born 315, no white. And then the girl was born 345. She's a red liver sable. That's the two-toned color. And then at 4.45, a whole hour later, then we had the girl, the dark chocolate, no white. So this one's a little bit smaller for now, and he may end up passing up his sisters. You just never know. When the time weaning comes around, they, he, he may pass her up. We'll just see. So then every day I'll be, um, like tomorrow will be Thursday, um, July 4th. <laughs> So that will be the first day, and then we'll have Friday, July 5th, and Saturday, July 6th, and so on. So every day for 14 days we'll weigh, and then I go to, uh, and that will be two weeks old, that's when we worm with Strongid tea, and I'll make a little note out here. And then I just weigh at three weeks, four weeks, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They go home around ten or eleven weeks. And I worm them at two weeks and four weeks and six weeks and eight weeks and ten weeks. And they get their shots from our vet about nine weeks old. So I yeah. write all my little notes over here. But we just do this so we can keep track of their weight so that we can tell that they're uh, gaining weight and staying healthy and growing just like they should. Right. If they start to lose weight, you know there's probably a problem and yeah. you need to... That's right. That's one of the reasons why for the first 14 days you weigh them every day mm -hmm. to make sure they're gaining a little bit every day. 
Yeah. And sometimes they lose a little bit, and Coco's litter loses a little bit the day one or two before the milk comes in, and then by three or mm -hmm. four or five, they, they pick up and they start gaining. So I'm not too worried if, yeah. they're, if they're going down a little bit here. Um, other mothers, sometimes they will just be gaining a lot, but it's a little bit slower for mm -hmm. her milk to come in. And then when they wean, sometimes they lose a little too. But, yeah. But they're fine. Yeah. So, um, and then I always track the puppies for a whole year after to make sure that, um, d just to see what their adult weight is so that for the next litter, the next time that these same parents have puppies, we kind of have an estimated weight. Mm -hmm. So that's it. All right. Okay. We're giving Coco a little bit of maple syrup just to help her have energy and she's doing okay, but. We just do it for good measure. Not too much, but get her just a little bit. To Show me how much that is. It's yeah, it's my little serving okay. spoon, but she licks it out of there. It's kind of messy. But it's 100% um, maple syrup. It happens to be organic. Um, but it's not high fructose yeah, corn syrup. pure maple syrup. Yeah. Just helps her blood sugar. She hasn't eaten for 24 hours because they yeah. always stop eating before. Here. She's dripping all over me. <laughs> Mama's got to have energy to feed those And babies. then I'll be also giving her some chicken breast. I'm going to um, go put on a chicken breast in water to boil. No salt, no pepper, just plain. Mm -hmm. And I'll be giving her some of that and mix that with some white jasmine rice. And in addition to her dry, um, it's from Puppy Gold. It's what we use on the dry dog food. It has mm -hmm. extra protein. Which we have on our Sunny Bell Favorites page on our website. Right. If they're pregnant or nursing, that's when we give the from puppy gold to the adults. And then our weaning puppies have mm -hmm. that too. So there you go.